Hi, this is Michael Kennedy from Developmentor, and I want to show you how to work with XML and XML files in Python. So in this short video, we're going to go grab an XML file, load it into memory, uh, do some queries against it, pull certain types of data out of it, and put that back on the screen. So something really simple, but absolutely enough for you to get started. Now the first thing we need to do is get a hold of an XML file. So we can jump over here and look at this XML data repository from the Computer Science Department of Washington University. And one of the options we have down here are University Courses. And you can see right here we have a read.xml here. And this is actually an XML file of all of the courses available at Reed College in Oregon. So over here in PyCharm, you'll see that I've already downloaded that file and put it into this data folder so that we can work with it. So the first thing to do in order to work with this file is to actually come up with a file name that we want to load. And to do that in a platform agnostic way, we're going to use this OS module. So we'll start by saying import OS, and we'll say file name is something like readcollegecourses.xml. Now it would be good to have the full path, so maybe we want to do something like this. I'll say full file. And we can use os.path. This is a great little uh, module we can work with here. And we'll come up here and we'll say join. And join will let you concatenate a bunch of segments of a file path. And it'll use the right separator depending on the platform it's running on. Backslash for Windows, forward slash for OS 10, that sort of thing. Let's just say data and then file name. So let's just print out full file. You'll see it's not quite the full file yet, but let's go ahead and run this. Now to run this, you can see there's no run configuration up here yet. So I'll right click and say run. All right, so data, read college, courses. Maybe we want the full, full path. So we can come over here and call another os.path operation. And we'll say dot absolute path. And we'll give it this. Now if I run it again, you can see the entire path on this machine to that file. Excellent. So the next thing we need to do is load this into something called an element tree. That's like the DOM version of XML processing in Python. You can see there's a problem. That's because we're missing an import statement. So we'll say import, whoops, let's say it this way, from xml.etree import element tree. So now we have access to this class, and we can parse this full file, and we get back a DOM. And let's just print out the DOM really quick to make sure everything's working. Awesome. So at this place in memory, we have some XML element. Now it's time to actually do some queries on this DOM. So first of all, we can find all the courses. And we can go to the DOM and say find all and give it some kind of expression, some kind of XPath expression. Now let's look at this XML again really quick. You'll see up here that we have a root element and then a bunch of courses here. Course, course, course. And then we we'll want to get things like the course number, the course title, and so on. We could just go and give us the course title really quickly if that's all we wanted. We could come over and say course slash title. And then we can say for C in courses just print out whatever that is. So you can see we found a bunch of titles. Maybe we want their text, so we could say dot .text. Now we have all the various classes that you might want to take. And they're duplicated because these are also the sessions. right? Maybe it's one's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, one's Tuesday, Thursday. OK, so that would let us do this interesting XPath query, but it doesn't let us get as much information as we need. So let's go like this. And then we're going to run some more queries here. So we'll say title down here equals c dot find singular title and let's say the number is c dot find and I think it's c r s e something funky like that let's see c r s e and then maybe we also want the days that it runs on so we'll come down here and say days equals this that was days is the xml node and then let's just do a little print statement here so we'll say uh, just put a little star to indicate here's a class, and we'll say the course number. So we'll do a little curly for format there. So let it, let's format it like this. We're going to have first the course number, and then we'll have the days in a little bracket, and then we'll have title. All right, so let's run this and see what we get. Oh, looks like we forgot to use text on all of these, didn't we? So these are the nodes. So if we want just the, the value of those nodes, post attributes or something, we can just use dot .text. So here you can see are all of the various classes, right? This playwriting runs on Wednesday, and it's course number 275, and so on. All right, so let's review. Uh, we wanted to work with files in general in Python, so we used the OS class, and we then used the OS path.
path class to work with both its join and its absolute method. We called imported element tree from xml.etree. And with that class, we parsed the file into a document object model where we can run xpath expressions against it. So very, very simple one. You saw a slightly more complicated one earlier. And then this gives us back a list so we can iterate over that collection and do further queries against it to get the title and the course, the course number and the days and so on. And then we just printed that out. And here you go. Hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching.